Well, Historic Denver just announced the recipients of its 2023 annual awards given to projects and people preserving key buildings right here in Denver. Now, these awards are for buildings that are not only historic, but also provide affordable housing, showcase adaptive reuse, and have a presence that is distinctively Denver. And to wrap up our series on these incredible winners, we have President and CEO of Historic Denver, John Deffenbaugh. John, it's so good to have you again. Hi, nice to see you again. All right, you guys are getting ready. It is a big week. Tell me why Historic Denver is honoring these buildings, John. Yeah, it is, a, it is one of the biggest weeks of the year for us. I know. We work um, throughout the year, every day, championing the buildings that are important to Denverites, mm -hmm. really working with the community to understand what buildings are important to them. So it's just so wonderful to be able to honor the key buildings of this year um, that have risen to the top. We ask the public um, what buildings would they like to see honored. So mm -hmm. the buildings that we are honoring are in large chosen by the community. Wow. And there's just such a diverse range from a brewery um, mm -hmm. to a formal medical supply center which now houses artist studios and Rivian Sales Center. Oh. Um, a former church, which now houses people exiting from homelessness. It's just such a great way of showing that the buildings of the past are still so relevant to the city and yeah. can solve our problems. It is so neat to see a lot of them ser still serving great causes, but also looking so great. And you're right, we've got a lot of these right here in Denver. I know the selection process is tough, but some of the award winners that actually won, tell us about them. Yeah, they're, they're so amazing and it's such great. It's so great to see the diversity. Um, Rice's brewery, not just a brewery, but also a community event space. Mm -hmm. Um, York Street Yards, I mentioned, the former medical supplies depot, now home to Creative Studios, another brewery, because we all like our beer, <laughs> yes. um, Architect Studios um, and Rivian Sales Center, um, Homelessness uh, Exit Facility with uh, St. Francis Warren residents. Mm -hmm. um, and then we have um, Tom Starlight, former diner, Colfax Institution. Yes. We all know that, now being repurposed to a cocktail bar and some excellent food. Mm -hmm. um, just a really wonderful place. So neat to see this. Now, who else is being honored here? Yep, in addition to those projects, we also have three individuals which have made such a difference to Denver and really championed the retention of existing buildings throughout their careers. So we have Gertie Grant, who's a wonderful community member and started by distributing trees um, to really create that initiative. Mm -hmm. um, we then have uh, the Honorable Elbra Wedgworth, who's focused her career um, promoting uh, downtown renewal initiatives, yeah, generally very key. passionate about existing buildings. And then um, developer Jerry Glick, who um, has himself developed so many existing buildings and adaptively reused them into a diverse array of things, homes, bars, restaurants, yeah. so many different things. This preservation work is truly remarkable when you see what they have done and, and continue to carry on the legacy of these buildings. What are some of your favorites? I'm not sure I'm allowed to say my favorite. <laughs> oh, I, I okay, cannot I get be expressing it. favorite part. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I think, you know, they're all wonderful because they all show that older buildings can contribute to yeah. Denver and the problems we face. So um, St. Francis Warren residents um, for people exiting homelessness, so incredibly important. Yes. But also because, you know, I love my beer. Um, so <laughs> Rice is Brewery, sure. um, such a great space and incredible beer. It, again, what a neat concept. I'm so happy that you're honoring a lot of these winners and uh, they've gone through quite the selection process. You've got a few tickets left for the gala, November 2nd. We do, okay. we have very few tickets left. So if, if you fancy joining us, please hop on our website, historicdenver.org. Okay, now's the time to do it. Thank you so much, John, for being with us today and best of luck to everything you guys do, especially Thursday. Thank you.